Hey you guys, what is up? It's Berlin. Welcome back. If you're new here, hi. I do drama, kind of tea videos, and also a bit of makeup and stuff like that. So if that's your thing, then subscribe, join. I'd love to have you. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a bit of palette bingo with the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette. This one right here. So this has got 20 shades in it. And I have put 20 numbers, 1 to 20, in a little cup here. And I'm just going to pick randomly. We'll see what colours we get. And besides that, I'm also going to be talking about Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein and the whole Frenemies podcast drama again. Because some more has come out about that now. Go! It is never ending with them. So, let's get into this. First of all, I'm going to pick about four or five shades from my little pot here. So, let's go. This is the first one. I've got no idea what these are. I wrote them down earlier. Okay, so, contestant number 11. I don't know if you can... Ah, there we go. So, let's see what that is. Okay, so, the orange here, this is number one. And this one down the bottom here is number 20. So it goes one to five on each row. Let's have a look. So we've got 11, so underground is 10. So 11 would be plot twist, which is the very pale blue one there. Okay, so let's choose another one. Number 20, contestant number 20, come on down, it's you. Okay, so we have got, so far, plot twist, this blue one. We have got this one now, which is called Mr. Tutorials. So that was after Dylan's eyes, her fiancé Dylan's eyes. I remember Nikki said she tried to get the colour of it exactly right. So we've got 11 and 20, plot twist, Mr. Tutorials. Let's pick a third. This is probably going to be something really horrible now and the look will end up really busted, but I don't know. Ooh, number one, numero uno. There we are. Don't know if you can see. There we go. So we have the orange, which is redemption, right here at the top of the palette. And let's pick another two. I'm going to pick five shades and see what we get. So let's have that one. Oh, contestant number 19. Okay, that works. So that is the shade called Amsterdam, which is this bright purpley blue one that you see here. So that's working out well. We've got two blues, an orange, and this kind of goldish, like old gold color here as well. So that's going to look okay. Let's pick a fifth challenge ourselves no I might screw myself over here contestant number three there we go okay so that is gonna be ivy which is the white shimmer there okay well I've got my colors for my look today I have one two three mattes and two shimmers there we go. So I'm going to get into priming my eyes. And also, let's get into this stuff about Ethan Klein and Trisha Paytas. Trisha Paytas, now, oh my God, she went off last week on the Frenemies podcast. Then after the Frenemies podcast, she went off on all these tangents and rants, making several YouTube videos about it, going into a lot of detail, saying she was having... Uh, BPD episode and all of that. I did make a video on this previously so if you're not caught up on the situation you can watch that one but she went off. Trisha really really went off when like kind of overboard I would say. She made a 40 minute video and then another YouTube video after the podcast and then she put up somebody else's TikToks all about BPD and all of this then the following day, she got up in the morning, made yet another vlog, another video, talking about the whole situation with Ela Klein and Ethan Klein and all of this, going into the comments that she'd said about their parenting, everything like this. There was a moment where she contradicted herself because she said 
on the show, on Frenemies podcast, she said, oh yeah, when I was a kid, we never had anyone who wasn't family take care of us. We never had a nanny and all of this. But then, in her video, her YouTube video the following morning, Trisha came out and says, oh yeah, you know, when I was a child, I had someone take care of me and I have trauma from that. So she didn't have someone take care of her when she was on the show that wasn't family. But then... When she was on her own channel, she contradicted herself by saying, oh yeah, I did have someone take care of me and I have trauma from that. So that was a complete contradiction, a complete 180 from what she'd said on the Frenemies podcast on that episode where she walked out. So now I'm like, okay, sis, what's good? What's the truth? And of course, since the last episode where Trisha said, She's not doing this Frenemies podcast anymore. She's walking off. She's quitting. All of this stuff. You know, since then, now there has been a new development. Who could have predicted this one? Oh, it turns out that Trisha might not be quitting the podcast after all. Because, hey, Ethan Klein from the podcast has been tweeting out some stuff. Here we go. Ethan Klein from the H3 podcast retweeted a tweet that he'd put out saying there is a new frenemies tomorrow. People had a lot to say about it like this person here said this is one of those podcasts where I can either watch and support it or just stop watching it today and it would have no real impact on my life whatsoever. The content feels forced and I believe getting Trisha as a co-host was a ratings play. They need to work off their differences off air for this show to not be a car wreck. I mean, do you guys remember the first two episodes? That shit was light, campy, airy, an all-round fun time. Now, DEFCON level one. I love H3 and want this to work, but the game plan needs to be revised. Cesar said... I feel like this needs to conclude Frenemies. Trish is a bit unstable, being in a serious relationship with Moses. I love the episodes, but it seems to take a big toll on everyone involved. Well, wish you all the best, guys. Bob Burney said, I'm sad that this is the kind of content that brings views. I'm such a fan of H3, and I just want this nonsense to stop. I'm losing neurons every time I hear her name. Veronica said, it's only got views because people like it, dude, lol. Sergeant Snuggles said, after the way she spoke about the lovely Ela Klein, in the last episode, I don't want to support anything involving her anymore. Crystal said, please tell me that clown isn't back on the show. You know, the one that apparently made you all. Ashley said, Dr. Drew is not ready for what to come. Darius said, he needs therapy after this, which I think is quite funny because he might well do. So you can tell by all these reactions that people have really, really kind of had enough with Trisha Paytas now. They're getting tired of the drama with her, the fighting on the show and all of that. Some people must watch the podcast for this drama because it is like a car wreck, you know, like a car crash where you're rubbernecking, you're looking as you're driving past. You don't really want to look, but it's so horrific that you keep turning around and looking. That's very much how I kind of feel about this podcast. I'm kind of like, you know... They keep fighting, there's explosive stuff going on and that's why I watch it because as a drama channel I'm like oh what's going to happen this week you know. So I have got my shades from the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette here. These are all the shades that I've got so that's Plot Twist, the pale blue one, you've got Redemption, the orange and then you have got Amsterdam which is this purpley blue one and then the two shimmers don't know if you can see I've got the white one there which is ivy and the golden one there that gorgeous color which is Mr Tutorials so I'm gonna have to figure out a look with these now I'm gonna dip into the Amsterdam shade right here I did say on my last video about this podcast that I thought the drama between Trisha and Ethan was contrived. I thought it was made up for views. The following day, interestingly enough, after my video, Trisha Paytas actually came out with a Christmas song called C Word Christmas. I'm not going to say the word because YouTube doesn't like that word. But she came out with this video where she's basically making a joke out of the pandemic. And I was like, girl, are you tone deaf? You know, how many people have lost family members because of this illness this year? And it's going to be their first Christmas without certain family members. 
and you're making a joke out of the whole thing. I was like, this is really not it. Mm. Awkward, you know. Hashtag awkward. And yeah, I really just said hashtag awkward. That's sad. But yeah, I was like, Trish, I'm really not sure about this one, love. This is really, really not it. You know, how are you going to make fun of the pandemic when you've got people struggling financially, you've got people who've lost loved ones, all of this. You've got all this stuff going around about the vaccine. You know, people are scared, people are depressed, all the rest of it. I get it. She's kind of maybe trying to make light of it for some comic relief. But also I'm like, this is really kind of poor taste. I'm going to grab the lighter blue in this palette, which is Plot Twist. So it's just like a really pale powdery blue you can see there and I'm just going to put that just a bit above this one just here and I'll grab a blending brush and blend it out in a moment but I just want to stamp a little bit of it down here on the outer corners first there we go so let me know your thoughts on all this anyway what do you make of the Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein drama you know do you think that they do do it on purpose? Do you think it is all contrived for views? Do you think Trisha just did it because she had a Christmas song coming out? Let me know. But I will continue playing with my makeup. I will finish my look and be back with another video for you later. So I'm going to leave this one here and say goodbye. Take care, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my busted little channel. Bye, guys.